All right, let's get to these quick tips, John. I'm super, super stoked about uh, the, especially these first couple, really all of them. But Steve's says, I was cleaning up the file names in my photos and music folders and got tired of copy replacing every file's name in that folder. Then I discovered that the finder can do a bulk name change. I had no idea about this, but I used it last night because I had to change some things and it worked totally fine. And it worked on, uh, I just realized now that it worked on obviously Monterey, but also on Big Sur, which is what I'm running here in the studio. The way you do it is in the finder, you highlight the files that you want to replace. Then you go to the file menu and rename. At that point, you'll get a little dialogue up where you get to choose what part of it you want to rename and what you want to rename it to. Uh, so you get a find and replace kind of thing. Click rename and boom, it'll do it all in a row. One cool thing I noticed, John, is that if you do it, you can also, there's like an advanced button. I'm pulling it up here just so uh, I can make sure to get it right. Yeah, you uh, you can you can choose replace text. You can choose add text, uh, which will add it either after the name or before the file name. Or you can choose format where you get to choose like a counter or a name in the date and you can like have it name the files based on all kinds of different things after the name, before the name. It's like, this is super robust functionality for something that 17 years I've never known about. I don't think it was there 17 years ago, but it might've been, I, I've never tried it. It's pretty cool. It And it's, it's contextual, right? If you have only one thing highlighted in the finder, and you choose file rename. It just does the normal rename thing. It, you know, it, you just type your, you know, type the new name in the finder. But if you have more than one, then you get this little dialogue. It's pretty good. I like it. 